Let me see. That go higher than that, maybe about 28, okay. Okay, that's not bad, there we go, all right. So yeah, now we all good, man. We about to go ahead and get right into it. Shout out URL, man. They've been dropping a lot of announcements recently. We about to go ahead and get into it. We also got the Drake card this weekend. We definitely gonna go ahead and get into predictions on that as well. While I'm thinking about it, man, let me go ahead and share this broadcast out there with the people as well. Give a couple shout outs over here in the West, man. Shout out to Bad News Brown and Smooth the Jug, man. Recently, they've been having a full rollout for their battle coming up this weekend where they have money on the line and a league championship title is also on the line. Definitely want to go ahead and shout them out because their promo run has been amazing they've been talking that shit definitely want to go ahead and salute and highlight them today i did release another installment of their uh face off it's on my youtube channel nico tv y'all make sure you guys go over there check that out ro what up so shout out shout out to all the hidden gang that's gonna pull up today man i, I, I know i know hidden gang been waiting for a brother to get back up on here we here we here I also want to uh, show some love to Ref. Shout out to the GOAT. Ref, man, you the one been hooking me up with all the dope graphics, man, with the power rankings. That is also out as well. You guys can go ahead and check out the recent replay I did yesterday with that, as well as it is on my Twitter. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Y'all check that out. Two eyes, appreciate you sharing the broadcast. You said, how am I feeling? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I mean... You know what I'm saying it's a lot of dope shit going on in the culture right now. A lot, a lot of good battle rap shit going on, man. I'm finally back on caffeine. I know, I know it took me a while. You know what I'm saying, but we here. We here though. You know what I'm saying, Tati, appreciate you. Oh, Pancho talking reckless already. You, you are ours. NM, what's going on, Queen? What's going on? Salute the Queens pulling up. Acid, what up? We about, we gonna get into it. I'm about, about to get into it right now. I'm about to get into it right now because I'm not gonna lie. This recent announcement that they just dropped, the one that they just dropped, I'm gonna lie to y'all. It, it a little surprising, but a little surprising, but you know. Get there with us. Go ahead and remove this off the screen real quick. And yeah, man, as y'all can see, man, they just made the announcement. Arsenal versus Loso going down volume. All my people out there that love the volume setting, man. This for y'all. You got Arsenal versus Loso going down. They just announced this right before I actually started the stream. Yeah, they, they got they got to put some respect on it. I appreciate the props as well. I see everybody dropping the props in the chat. Definitely appreciate y'all. But let's get into it though, because I've been I seen as soon as this dropped, I knew when this dropped. I was like, man, are people gonna be honest? Are people gonna be prisoners of the moment they just seen recently? Like, what's it gonna be? Oh, you say you like the setup? Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Now, I, I, I'm trying to get innovative with it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning from people like y'all because I be seeing you up on here streaming. So I'm trying to learn from y'all what to be doing on here. Giovanni, what up? Our last two battles, not enough disrespect. He got to up the Annie. Up the Annie? Not enough disrespect? Oh, I've never, I've never in my life heard of an Arsenal not having enough disrespect. Normally, it's he has too much disrespect. This person says that he ain't got enough. Loso can't rap with Arsenal? Yo, Pancho, what kind of take is, yo, what? You said, who's booking the volume? Hey, yo, Goose, chill out. I'm going to need you to chill out. What you mean, who booking the volume? You know who booking the volume. You are all booking the volume. All right. Said so, Ars vs. Geechee was top-notch disrespect. Facts. 
But look, 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 let's just be a hundred percent honest, right? Last time we seen Low Saw for, for 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 some of us, for some of y'all, last time you probably seen Low Saw is when he battled New Jersey Twerk. I felt like he was dope in that battle. I felt like he was rapping really well in that battle. He just, I just felt like it was a a, a mismatch in terms of the skill level. You know what I'm saying? Like there's certain things that Twerk is able to do, especially in front of a crowd. He can get to different places that Loso can't, but I felt like Loso, his material and how he catered it, to me it was catered more towards like a smaller room, in my opinion, but I thought he had dope material. I just felt like he catered it for the wrong type of environment. You get what I'm saying? Now you back in a volume? You said Arsenal on a volume fire. Let's, hey, Arsenal been on volume a couple times. Now the Geechee battle, he was cooking. He was cooking. It's one of the best arsenals in recent history, right? But we also got to look at one of the first volumes. That I think what was it, volume two? He battled Hollow the Don, didn't he, on volume? Oh, we don't want to talk. We don't want to talk about that. Huh? We don't want to talk about what happened in that battle? You said this fake might be Briz versus Loso all over again. Dog. You, okay, let's, 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 let's just be 100% honest, right? Loso material, his writing is better than Arsenal. We just start right there. I think Arsenal is a a better performer. I don't, I don't even know if I say better performer. I would just say a more seasoned performer. Somebody who's been, you know what I'm saying, he, he's mastered what he does. But there's also something we got to talk about with Arsenal, man. It's if he's showing up to go for the kill or if he's just showing up. You know what I'm saying? like he, he, He's been known to... We just seen him versus Danny Myers this year. I believe that was on volume two. That didn't look like the arsenal we expected to show up. Like I know I listen, it, the name or you know what I'm saying speaks a lot, but I don't I don't agree with anybody saying Loso about to get cooked. I can't agree with that. Mama, what up? See my man here. Showing up for the bag. Like I just I just don't think like to me, this is just to me personally, right? Arsenal, it's always about does he want to show up on that A game? Does, is he trying to go for that kill? Because if he's just showing up just to rap, he's not really in a bag to really go for the kill for real, it can take away from it a little bit. In my opinion, it can. It can take away from the battle just a little bit. I personally believe that he's going to cook up because I think Loso is a worthy opponent. And you don't want to be the guy that lost to Loso after what Twerk did. Like, you... On some just some jersey shit, you don't want to be like, oh, I'ma lose after another jersey nigga just got through clearly winning. I'ma lose. Nah, you wanna you wanna kind of keep that trend going. Like, nah, you can't fuck with jersey. So I would think the Arsenal would show up, and I think a, a dope Arsenal volume Arsenal like the Gucci Gotti battle. If he's in his bag, I feel like that could be dope. Um, early on, my my initial assessment, I kind of gonna edge Loso a little bit. Locally, Loki wanna edge Loso. 2-1, um, I think that Arsenal can get around just because I feel like when he is in his bag of mixing disrespect with being direct, in t not necessarily an angle, but just having direct material directed towards you. And you got to bring up the element, too, he's battling a Christian. There's so many things that he can say to a Loso. And vice versa. Loso being one of the better anglers we have in battle rap, there's so much shit to say to Arsenal. As long as it's creative... You said, who has Loso beat lately aside from Vixen? Hmm. That's a good question. Who has Loso battled this year? So he has the Vixen battle. He has the New Jersey twerk battle. Who else did he battle? He battled somebody else on URL. I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on who he battled. Fonz? He battled Fonz? He said, yeah, Loso's a good angler to me, uh, Pancho. Chess. That's who it was. Chess. There it is. The chess battle. And I think a lot of people probably had him losing that battle as well to chess I, I i think at first when i watched the battle i don't think i was like a fan of the battle at first i think it took me a minute to really get with that battle but once i got with the battle i'm like okay no no, no this battle is actually pretty pretty good i rocked with it you know I, I rock with it yeah you know i'm saying um so you can say this year he like one and two in terms of like the big battles that he's had chess twerk vixen you can say he's one and two but what you can't say is loso is not performing at a high level and that's the thing, bro. 
Lo, you don't have to ask the question about Loso. Is he going to show up with three? We know he's showing up with three. You know he's showing up with three. You ain't got to ask the question. You know he's showing up with three. I got to ask the question for Arsenal, though, man. And sometimes Arsenal can show up and it's fire. You said Jerry West was this year, too? I didn't think Jerry West. Jerry West was last year, wasn't it? I thought Jerry, he battled Jerry West last year. I could be wrong, though. I thought he battled Jerry West last year, though. He said Gnome. Oh, okay. He battled on Gnome. That's, okay, that's the death. Okay. Okay, facts, facts, facts. Okay, so he actually has a few battles. And I think I did have him winning versus uh, Jerry West when that battle happened. So he's low-key 2-2 two two this year. Low-key. Low-key 2-2. Two two. Keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, nah, shout out, shout out Loso, shout out Arsenal. Dope matchup. Uh to me, I like I what y'all give this matchup out of 10? Like, what would y'all grade this matchup out of 10? Like, what 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 would y'all say you would give this battle out of 10? I, I'm curious to see what y'all how how y'all grading this this battle. About a seven? I'm not mad at a seven. A six, six, six. Hilarious. Strong six. This card is strong three point. Hey, yo, I'm gonna need you to chill out, Goose. He said Loso, very forgettable. I don't want to. It, it here. Here's the thing, bro. He still has one of the biggest moments of the year. He might have moment of the year still at this point of the year. He still might have moment of the year, man. So, gotta gotta, gotta put some respect on Loso name, man. I right now I got him edging the battle. I'm definitely gonna you know. Go over it a little bit more, but my initial thought when I seen it, I got this being about a I'm anywhere from a seven to an eight out of ten with this battle. Anywhere at the highest eight out of ten that they both are you know something show up on that A game. But I gotta be anywhere from a seven to eight. I'm, I'm gonna go about a seven out of ten with this one. It's it's a good matchup to me. I, I like it. You said this card itself is definitely a five point five. Y'all don't like this card? Hold on, hold on. Let's get into the next matchup. Oh, y'all talking about you don't like the card. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all don't like the card. Y'all didn't like the last announcement? Hold on. They just announced JC and Sirius Jones too. Y'all gonna tell me JC and Sirius Jones ain't it? All right. I, I, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. For, so, for somebody says it, let me be honest. When they announced this battle, I did tweet out JC three O, and I'm a stand on JC three O because I don't see a scenario where Jones gets a round versus JC respectfully. But I don't think this is going to be a bad battle. I think it's more of the gentleman thirty than a clear thirty. I think it's more of a, I would edge JC every round because I feel like. I feel like, and it's not Sirius Jones' fault, but I feel like a lot of times battle rappers, when they get in the ring with him, they kind of do this thing where they'll give you one really powerful round where they're clearly leaving Earth against Sirius Jones. And then, like, the last two rounds, they get into this space where it's not like they, like, they take their foot off the gas, but it's not like they're just throwing whatever out there. It's like one round might have been a, a, a good eight. Other two might be about six and a half, seven. Yeah, you know I mean, you battle JC, JC giving you three eights or higher in a row. He's not playing with you. He's not taking his foot off the gas. It's it's none of that. And I think that's exactly what Sirius Jones needs is somebody who is going to bring a consistent three rounds so we can really see where he's at right now in the culture. You say I'm gonna go serious two one. Ooh. But you gotta remember, it is a crowd too. And we've seen Sirius Jones in front of crowds, man. It ain't really been that. It ain't really been that in front of no crowds, bro. And I, and I and that's another element I'm looking at, man. A crowd, they saying it's about to be allegedly. I don't know. I don't know the number for real, but I'm hearing allegedly this is going to be like a Civil War size room, like 400 to 700 people. I got JC, man. Says Sirius don't lose like that. He got a great win. Like, that's a fact. He does. He does not lose like that. But guess what, Giovanni? He also don't win like that. See, when you just say somebody don't lose, 
but you also can't say he win either. And that's the issue. Eventually, when you get against dudes like this who bring a consistent three who are not going to let off, you got to, like, this is where you got to be a killer to get that dub. JC a killer to me. He, to me, he is. You know what I mean? Um, I think if we just if I'm just if I broke broke it down by category, I think JC is a better performer. He has better material. I think Sirius Jones rapping. It it it, 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 it is a, a, a older style of rap, but I think rapping wise, just the rapping, the skill level of his rapping is better. But I feel like what's going to be wrote, how the performance is, the consistency of rounds. Sirius Jones is somebody who he'll give you a strong round, but he don't really have three strong rounds. And that's really why I'm looking at this JC battle like, okay, he might be able to make one round really, really competitive, but do I have him making two out of three versus JC competitive? I don't really know. But I think he is he's dope enough. He, he, is, he is dope enough, and I feel like his legend status is – respectable enough where you don't think he gonna get bodied i just think the gentleman's 30 two one clear gentleman's 30 either one of those i'm kind of going in that direction i do not see a scenario where he wins versus jc i don't see it the swamp battle didn't show me enough bro like you put jc in that situation where you're giving him a round because you're playing with a a di a hidden diamond tester and yeah, you know I'm saying the nigga, the, the 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 nigga Sirius Jones turned on the diamond tester, and the diamond tester did this. I said the nigga turned on his diamond tester, turned it on, tried to see if the light was working, and all I heard was this. That's all I heard. That's all I heard when the man was using a diamond tester. That's it. The hidden tester. It was hidden like a motherfucker. You do that, you do that to JC? You do that versus JC, not only will you hear this, but at the conclusion of the battle, people, if he play around with JC with these little hidden props, you might hear something like this. For my gaming people, you understand that. You don't want to be the person to hear that. You don't even want to hear this. You don't want to hear neither one of the sounds. You don't want to. You said still won the battle. I don't have him beating Swamp. I had Swamp winning that battle respectfully. It was a close, it was a close battle, though. But now, nah, JC, I think JC going to get this battle clear, man. JC don't really. JC don't give up rounds, bro. Like that. When you have a person who doesn't give up rounds and their material is better, there's going to be so many more bars to me that I'm going to be able to point out in JC round. Than I would be able to on a serious Jones round. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Go to says Swamp One. I don't care how fast. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey yo. You said that's the sound you make after eating Taco Bell. Hilarious. JC has been resting too. You know what I'm saying? Brett, what's going on with you? I see you in here. Yeah, now serious. I think listen, man, this is just me personally. I just I haven't really been, he had, Sirius Jones has had good showings, but I don't think I've really just been wowed by a performance. I'm like, wow, this thing is cooking. I don't think I've seen that yet from Sirius Jones since he's been back. I haven't seen it. And to me, that's that. To me, that's a separator because I could look at JC resume, man, recent history, all of that, and I could see a lot of those type of things going on, so. For me, I'm going to go with JC, like I said, Gentleman's 30, 2-1 clear. Either one you want to put out there, I'm not mad at either. But that, that's how I'm calling it, uh, personally. Next battle. This is actually battle of the night to me. This is actually battle of the night to me. I don't know how y'all call it, but I got this being battle of the night. Beat out the God. The God's back. Oh, no, we still waiting on a, I think, a battle or two. You know what I'm saying? Beat out an ab. I got this being battle of the night. Got to be in battle of the night, man. 
don't know why my phone be violating. My phone be trying to violate. Don't be trying to violate, man. I just wanna just wanna put that out there, let the people know what we doing. If y'all can go ahead and share this stream for for your boy one time, let the people know we in here. We 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 talking this ish. You said one more battle. I don't know. The volume looking kind of solid to me so far. I can understand why people kind of feel like this ain't like a real volume in comparison to the other cards we've had volume wise. I could definitely understand that. I could definitely understand that. But yeah, beat out and Av. I got this being Battle of the Night. Um, you think Loso and Ars Battle of the Night? Interesting. I'm not. Mad. I'm actually not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But to me personally, man, just the the, the rapping, the material, just everything. You all the categories, man. I just you. This is almost like a can't miss type battle. Can't miss. Beat out one of the best rappers in battle rap. Av, another one of them dudes who really rap in there every fucking bar. You got one person who aggressive bar for bar punch lines and can get in the angle bag. And you got beat out who is one of the best writers, one of the has one of the best pins in all of battle rap with top three, arguably number one angler in the game. He's in the top three anglers in the game. I think this is like almost like a can't miss type matchup. I mean, you said beat out, bring out Nuno again. Hilarious. Now, I don't think he bringing out Nunu, man. Oh, he ain't bringing out Nunu, man. He, he coming out here to do work. We ain't seen beat out in quite some time. I think beat out coming out here to do work. I think he coming out here to do that work. <sighs> he definitely been sitting. His last battle was uh, Shotgun Shug on a super fight right before uh, right before Gnome. So he's, he's been sitting for quite some time. Quite some time. Glad to see him back on the card, though, man. Definitely. Um, Av has been having a Av's been having a, a, a solid year this year, man. He had a, a good battle back and forth with DNA. He also had the battle with Real Sick recently, where a lot of people had him winning that battle. He did battle Head Ice as well this year. Yeah, he was definitely mad. People had Suge winning. I I don't have Suge winning that battle. I had beat out winning every round. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had beat out thirty and Suge. Gentlemanly 30, because Suge was fire. But, yeah. Now, Av having a, a solid year this year. Definitely in the top 20 champion of the year right now. And B-Dot, he's had two really good battles this year, man. Him and DNA, I thought was a very, very good battle. And I also thought him and Suge was a really good battle. You said he don't need that approach with Ice where he gradually gets better. I agree. I think that... For me, the battle I'm envisioning, the battle I'm you shook too. Okay, I, Poncho, where are you from? Where Poncho, where are you from? Huh? Is Jers in the is is is, is, is J E R Atlanta? Where is is there a city called Atlanta in Jersey? Is that where Shug lives? Is that where he's at? Talking about some Shug two one. You know better than that. Pacho knows better than that. Let me hold on. You know, pa Pacho. Let me find out. Let me find out, brother, that you were a fan of that bed pan African bar. Let me find out. You got something against the bed pan Africans? Fire. I knew, I see, when he said that shit, I knew, when he said that shit in his third, I said, oh, they gonna give Shook this this battle now. I see that, because I, I remember vividly, people was, oh, 2 0 beat out, oh, 30, he cooking. As soon as that man said, bed pan African, I said, oh, I see it right there. there. There's an argument right there. I love the bar. I thought it was a fire bar, but that one bar don't take, don't mean you just went around off rip. You gotta do some work. It's a good battle, but I had I, beat. I was rapping. <laughs> he was rapping circles around Suge, low key, man. Shout out Suge, though, because Suge was fire in that battle. And I, I didn't like the disrespect towards Suge when niggas was acting like he wasn't going to get busy in that battle. Los Temp, what up? 
What's good with you? You know what I'm saying? But now, I got in this battle, I got B.2-1. Like I said, battle of the night. I got him edging this one. I just think that there's a lot to talk to Av about. And vice versa. There's a lot that Av could definitely say to B.2 that people want to hear. But B.2 having, like, the first chance to really talk. you, you Now you're a part of EFB. And, you know, you got the cave gang situation. You got, you know, you got different little things out there. And B.2... Your master angler, dog. He find a way that he finds something to talk about, man. It's it's powerful. You say you're using me in a bar, Saturday. Oh, is this a is this a positive bar? Or are you taking shots? You talk, You said hope all is well. I, I I'll tell you how well I am after I know what what the kind of bar this is. And if you use my name, oh, it's, it's positive and negative. But if it has negative. It better be fire. Because if it's not fire, if it's not fire, I promise you, you'll hear some of this. Make the bar fire. If y'all go take a shot at me, make it fire. That's all I ask. If you go take a shot, just make it fire. Just make it fire. Nah, man. I am beat out 2 1 for me. How y'all calling this battle, though, man, for y'all? B dot and Av, y'all got this being a two one. Y'all, do any of y'all think a thirty? Like, what y'all, what y'all thinking about B dot and Av? You said more positive. I will rock with that. Av two one Poncho. All right, all right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna hold you to that. B dot two one. Okay. Av two one. All right, Los Temp. What's going on? See, that's, 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 that's that East Coast shit. That's that East Coast shit right there. I, I see what you're doing, Lowston. That's that East Coast shit right there. You haven't been fully integrated into the West yet. Yeah, I see what you're doing right now. I see you. It's all right. Nah, oh, West up after picking that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. When I got beat out 2-1, battle of the night, I think. You said I'm West by No, I'm definitely not West Bias. I, you know what? Actually, I got proof that I'm not West Bias. I did my radio show last night. A West Battle Radio. Shout out to everybody who pulled up last night. We had a discussion about Geechee Gotti and Loaded Lux. If y'all ever think I'm West biased, just go listen to that discussion. If you think I'm biased for the West, I don't know what y'all would call the niggas I was arguing with last night. <laughs> if you think I'm biased for the West, I don't know what you would call the people who was arguing for Gotti winning versus uh, for Lux last night. And I actually, you know what I'm saying, I, we're going to get to that, but... Man, that was that, <laughs> that was something different. You say I, I'm Lux biased? Nah, I actually, you know what I'm saying? I don't no, I'm not Lux biased. I actually think uh I actually think Gotti can win that battle. I actually think Gotti could win that battle. You know what I'm saying? But fire battle beat out an F. Definitely, I, I've been, I've been, I've been looking at, and, and paying attention too, man. They definitely had a conversation. I saw, I seen B dot had mentioned a, a potential battle with Av a while ago. So it's not like this is just kind of out of nowhere. He's always said that he, you know, he would battle Av. Always spoke highly, you know, what I'm saying of his skill and everything. So definitely think that would be one. Um, this next one, I'm not gonna lie. If there's any battle on this card that is a thirty piece, it's this battle. If there's any battle on this volume that you would say is a 30, this battle falls in line with the 30 narrative. I have DNA with the mean, disrespectful, volatile, flagrant, hostile 30. I do not see a scenario in which King Los wins this battle. Let's just go ahead and break down why. I, I just tell y'all why, man. The daylight battle. I understand why people were going crazy the way that they were when the battle was announced. But when the battle dropped, man, it's like that ain't gonna work versus DNA, bro. Yeah, Captain America line. It was a lot of OBC. 
And you can't bring that style to the volume versus DNA and think that's it's not going to work. It's not going to work. DNA has gotten into a heavy angle bag, substance bag. He not bullshitting. Angle's heavy right now. Los, I respectfully, man, I ain't seen you really in any of your battles that you've had since you returned to battle. I haven't seen you with a performance that's been on the level that this DNA has been rapping this year. I have not seen it. I haven't seen it, man. Respectfully, I ain't seen it. And DNA, man, like, the angles that you would normally, you know what I'm saying, go at DNA with, man, he's kind of made a lot of them angles kind of obsolete. You got to really, you got to really prep up a different type of material, some different type of angles, some talking points for DNA, man. He's in his bag. He's in his bag right now. I have this being a 30. Like, I, I'm talking about clear 3-0. Clear 30. I would be shocked. I'd be shocked if DNA didn't win this battle clear 3-0. I'd be shocked. So you're on fire. DNA going to show the intelligence. Look. Yeah, I just... It's just not a good matchup, man. Like, you, you're battling somebody who... He doesn't lose battles in his own right, but he's been dominant with his like that style. He's like he perfected every every time he's wrapped the different styles of rap that he's had. He's perfected all those styles. Now he's added angles and not even just angles, really good angles. While being able to have creative bars in there, while being an elite freestyler rebuttaler so anything you say or do he's able to catch that right then and there dna is one of them uh he says mickey facts versus dna part two you know what's crazy somebody actually said that last night and i 100 percent agree man although i think mickey facts is a uh, is I, it's, it's he's light years to me he's way better battler than king Lowe's. way better battler than King Lowe's, respectfully, respectfully. That's my opinion. Respectfully, I got. I, I think Mickey Fax actually way better as a battle rapper. Um, Los man, hey, listen, man, it's caffeine a different a, di a different animal. So maybe if he step up and he show us something different, he might be able to cook up and, and surprise niggas, man. But with what I've seen so far. I got to be honest, man. I don't have you winning a round versus DNA, man. I got DNA with the 30. Clear 3-0. Clear 3-0 in that one. And in the last volume battle, and this is actually a battle that I actually had to go back and, like, reanalyze my initial take. Because I'm not going to lie. I didn't really have too much to say about this one. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really have too much to say about this one because you said, oh, Hidden Gang, Diva, what up? Hidden Gang in the building. Appreciate you pulling up. Appreciate you pulling up. We just going over the volume right now. We just talking about all these recent announcements that's been going on. And we on, we on, we on, I, I'm assuming this is the main event, A Verb versus Head Ice. Verb out of quote unquote retirement you know what I'm saying the, la the last time we seen verb it was a lot of this I said the last time we seen verb it was a lot of this I'll take it a step further the last time we seen a verb he had Pikachu sounding like this <laughs> Pikachu don't like pokeballs but it damn sure was in a bag after that battle you know Pikachu don't like Pokeballs, but it damn sure was in a bag after that battle. Now was the last time we seen Verb. That was the last time. That was the last time we seen him. The last time. Yeah, Verb, Verb, Verb on the moon. So I would, if I if I was on Zoom right now, I'd show you where he's at. Cause I start, I, I, I have the location. I can show y'all the location of where he's located right now. His own island and everything floating in space right now. But I'm not, I can't lie to y'all. When I first seen this battle, I was very dismissive. I was like, man, Ice going to cook him. He's going to get him up out of here. But then I started really thinking about this battle. 
And I started thinking of the psychology that Verb uses and how he's been operating with that throughout his career. This battle has historical meaning to Verb. And if he looks at this battle anywhere near what he looked at the Mook and Lux battle in terms of I got loose ends out here in the culture. I got to tie these loose ends before I get up out of here for real. I think we could see a, a verb that's motivated and not on that poetry jam shit. Now, if he's not in that bag and there's nothing of a historical significance to verb and he just he just here to just go ahead and rap like he's been rapping, I think this could get ugly. I think it could get ugly. Ten years in the making, Britt, that's a fact. <sighs> that verb, listen, man, verb. Verb. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know if he'll see this, but verb. I don't even care if it's one round. Damn it, I don't care if it's half a round. I don't even care if it's four boards. I don't care if it's four bars. If you can jump back in that bag when you was on that corner, when you was on that street, all them New York niggas around, and you sent that man SB, you sent that man to hidden space. If you can jump in that bag for even just a segment of your round, I'll, I'm telling you, that's powerful. That'll be powerful, Verb. That's the Verb we want to see versus Head Ice. Because we're going to be honest. We'll be honest. Head Ice dodged a bullet that day. He dodged a bullet that day. Because had Head Ice showed up and battled that Verb that day, Battle Rap would be looked at a little bit differently right now. Because I'm telling you, Head Ice would have got sent to the moon if he stood in front of them rounds. <sighs> he said he gonna send some, but he ain't gonna meet him. <laughs> he gonna dress as an Israelite? Nah, I ain't doing that. Head Ice had a very impressive uh, showing versus Av. I'm going to be respectful with this one. I'm actually... I'm, I still got Head Ice winning this battle, but I, it's, it's going to be a lot closer. The only reason why I can't pick Verb is because his last three to four battles, I haven't seen an A-Verb that has been remotely good. I think he's shown flashes like in a couple bars here and there, but he's not, he hasn't put anything together that's consistent enough for me to feel like he could really win a battle versus Ice. You know what I'm saying? So, respectfully, I got Ice 2-1. I'm not going to go 30 and body bag and all that I was saying before. I thought about it. I do have Head Ice winning this battle. But, man, I don't know. I don't I don't know, man. Verb is this recent poetry jam, open mic night style. That's, that's not cutting it. D. Cherie, what up? How you doing, Queen? We ain't here talking this volume eight shit. I don't know this recent verb. I just haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything consistent enough for three where I feel like you're going to win versus the head ice that we've been seeing recently, man. So respectfully, I have ice winning the battle 2-1. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm going to go 2-1. 2-1 two, 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 edge. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with edge because... I, like if, if there is if there's a part of Vert is just like hey yo man I, I this is a I need to tie up a loose end and, th and this is one of them loose ends I got to tie up and let people know what's up this could be a different kind of battle because if you're asking me who's better just between the two of them it's Verb clear like we're I'm not even we're not even gonna play games with that Verb is clearly the better battler and rapper of the two we're we're not even gonna play games with that but which Verb is showing up. And that's where I'm a little hesitant to pick Verb. So, I got head ice with 2-1. How y'all calling this battle, man? Y'all got ice 2-1. Y'all got... Do any of y'all have Verb? Do any of y'all have a Verb? Let me... Let, let me ask that. Ice 2-1. You got Wolf, man. What 
Oh, Pancho got okay. Pancho got two one verb. Culture might get thirty. No, nah, I don't want to believe that. Verb two. Okay, two of y'all got verb, man. See, I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all, y'all making me damn near want to pick verb just because of the off chance. Cause he is better. So I do think Verb can win if he wants. Yeah, if he wants to, he definitely can. You said you have Verb too. Damn, okay, so this is actually a close. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I went back and really thought about this battle, I'm like, yeah, it's going to be a close battle. If Verb really wants to win the battle, he could clearly win this battle. Like, there's nothing to talk about. Like, there's absolutely nothing to talk about. It's just, is he going to be in that bag? That's the thing that, you know what I'm saying, be, be the question with Verb, man. So I'm going to go with Ice and an Edge 2-1. And that's the volume card so far. So y'all, y'all was telling me earlier that you had this being like a five. You think this volume card is a five? Y'all think there's like a five out of ten? I think this is actually a solid card. I think it's about a. I'd actually put volume at about a seven, probably about a seven right now with the matchups they've uh they put out there. Because B dot B dot and Av battle is like a nine out of ten to me. Nine out of ten, damn near ten. That's a that's a ten out of ten, damn near battle. So that 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 gets high rank. Uh, low so and Arsenal. That's anywhere from a seven to an eight. That's high rank. Um, what's the other battle? JC JC and Sirius Jones. Even though I have JC winning every round, Edge a gentleman's thirty. I do think that that battle could be about a seven, anywhere from a seven to an eight. Because I think Sirius Jones has been good. Enough where I feel like he could definitely cook up in some of these battles. So I'll, I'm at about a seven now. Obviously, the King Los battle, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be a, a mean thirty piece. And I think Verb and Ice will be better than what I'm expecting, or better than what the culture expects. I actually expect it to be a, a, a solid battle. So yeah, I'm, I'm at about a seven. What I'm at about a seven with it probably could be higher. Um, if it was a different opponent, then it's nothing against King Los. It's just, man, I haven't seen anything from Los where it's like, okay, you're battling somebody who is elite at what he does, and I just don't know. I don't know, man. The, the, the style clash ain't really, I don't know if it's in his favor. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, that's volume eight. I think volume eight is a about, about, about a seven out of ten, like I said. But y'all already know what's going on this weekend, though. Y'all know what's going on this weekend. Huh? Oh, yeah, we know what's going on this weekend. We know exactly what's going on this weekend. Where is that? Yeah. We talking about that Drake card, man. We talking about that Drake card, man. Y'all see it right here. I'm trying to let me go ahead and try to... You know what I'm saying? Let me try and get that right there for the people real quick. Yeah. As y'all can see. As y'all can see. I I don't even know. Let, let's just get into what do y'all rate the card? Yeah, on paper, what do you rate the card? I got to We just I said volume was a seven. So if that volume card gets seven. I already know this card about to get high rank for me. But what y'all got this card? Got this card about a seven? Ooh, nine. Okay. Okay. Eight points off for, uh, points off for rematch. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at that. 9.6. Okay. Six. Rematches. See, the rematches do kind of. However. See, here's the problem with that, right? Yeah, we yeah, I we we, we I, let's get into it, man. So obviously this weekend, you know what I'm saying, we've definitely gonna have this this Drake card to death do us part, all that good shit. Shout out caffeine, shout out URL, mega card. Obviously there was a battle on here that is no longer. It was Murder Mook versus Easy to Block Captain. They were trying to get DNA versus Easy to Block Captain. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we'll have a surprise battle. I don't know what what the word is, man. But hopefully, hopefully they can go ahead and see if they could. Get easy on this card, man. I'm, I'm hearing rumors about the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Sounds good, but I'll wait to see it for myself. Um, but the card to me on paper, I got I got this card being about a about 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 an eight point five, about about a strong eight to nine. I'm about an eight point five with it right now. About 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 an eight point five with it right now. 
I think Pat Stan Real Sick is a very good battle. Uh, a- a- excellent battle. I think that'll be probably one of the better battles of the night. Jazz and Gaddis. A lot of a lot of people have said that Jazz and Gaddis is like a battle that they didn't care for or it's an easy battle for Jazz. I don't see it being an easy battle for Jazz at all. I don't see it being an easy battle for Jazz at all. I actually think it's going to be a highly competitive battle um, that either one of them can win. Uh, Rex, Nitty, Nitty and rematches, man. How do you get... Hold on, hold on. How are you better in the rematch than you were in the original battle? How do you write better material? Name flips, everything for the rematch. Have y'all seen what Nitty been doing in rematches this year? He battled Don Marino top of the year. Then he battled him again in the two-on-two. That's one rematch. Then he rematches Cortez, Drugs, and Geechee. And it's fire. Now, if we can get the Rex to battle easy, we can get that level Rex to battle what Rum Nitty's been doing this year. That could be powerful. Nitty definitely wants his get back from that first that first battle too. Definitely wants his get back. So imagine what he got in store for Rex. That's a fact. That Rex was fired to me. Yeah, I thought that Rex was really good versus easy to block captain. Now listen. Well, I'm not one of them people who's going to sit here and lie and act like, oh, I don't know. I know. Easy won that battle clearly. We're not, I'm not, we're not going to play games. Easy won the battle clearly. 30. Where we won the battle. Rex was good in that battle. We're not, we not going to act like Rex wasn't good. That Rex showed up. Oh, you say you go. Rex going to have one good hat slam round and lose us 2-1. I can see that. He's always good for at least a round. He's always good for at least a round. We, we got to give Rex that. Regardless of what's been going on, he's always good for at least a round. Yeah, I mean, so that, I think that's going to be a good battle. I think Rex actually going to. Because if Rex don't show up, he know he could die. Like, he know he could, he could die versus Nitty. He definitely could die if he don't show up. So I don't think he's going to show up bullshitting. And the opportunity, too, this kind of a card, I can't see any of these battlers taking their foot off the gas or bullshitting with their preparation. Man, it's a, it's a major card. <clears throat> My Lion jersey, hilarious. Surf vs. Calico, another rematch. I honestly felt like they should have left this where it was at. Cal won the first one, clearly. Now, this is the other thing, man. If we get the, we get the Surf that's on 10... We get Calico, the way Calico been. Calico having a really good year. Hitman, Geechee, now you got Surf. This is actually a good year for Cal. I think he should be in that top 20 uh, of the year discussion. I think he should be in that discussion. Calico does not lose battle. Britt, that's a fact. He does not lose. If you look at win-loss record in the history of battle rap, Calico's number one. Like I will, I will argue that and debate that with anybody that Calico has the best win-loss percentage out of anybody he might only have one or two at most clear losses. Cal don't lose like that. And he has signature wins versus some of the elite of battle rap. You said what's next for Cal after this year? Ooh. I mean, obviously the easy to block captain shit is, is, is always a possibility. Um, T-Top? I think him and T-Top could be a potential possibility. I, I, feel, I feel like there's a lot out there still for Calico. He still has a lot about because he doesn't battle that often, so he still has matchups that he can he can he can uh, get. But nah, I think in this battle, man, I think it's gonna be a, a really good battle. I think. See, I, I want to say my because we we doing predictions on Friday. Shout out to my brother Ledge. You know what I'm saying top tier podcast. But we are gonna be doing our predictions on Friday. I kind of don't know how to call this battle, bro, because Calico don't lose battles like that, but Surf is... Like, Surf is in a bag right now where it's like, he don't want to fuck up this momentum. He The way he been talking, the way the reception has been to him since he smoked John John Boots on Summer Madness, like, I, Surf ain't trying... Like, I don't think he's showing up bullshit, man. I don't think we gonna get the Surf that we seen versus Cal the first time. I think we gonna get more of the Surf that we just seen versus John John. 
and this and he understands the room and I I, I think I think he out for revenge, man. He it, it, he he tired of Calico been talking crazy this year. You been seeing him get into it? Says Surf want to show out in front of Drake. That's a fact. Full showmanship bag. Mama, that's a fact. All facts. So I don't know. that That's going to be an interesting battle. That's, I think that's actually going to be a really good battle. I think it's going to be one of the better battles of the night as well. Now, here's a battle that people are saying is going to be battle of the night. And they, you can argue battle of the night. You got Tay Rock versus New Jersey Twerk. Listen, man, if they both show up on 10, this could be one of the best. This could be battle of the year. I'm telling you, right, if they both show up on 10, it could easily be battle of the year. And I know, I'm saying that knowing what Easy and Chess did on Summer Madness. But if Rock and Twerk both show up on 10, bombing, this could definitely be a battle of the year contender, man. Uh, I think this is going to be a hell of a battle. I for those of y'all who love just bar for bar, barking, high energy, uh, uh, room shakers, moments that can be created, this this one of them ones, man. This one of them ones, man. And neither one of them wanted. Like you gotta think about it, bro. A card like this, this ain't just no URL card. This is a this is Drake's card. He had to sign off on everybody being on here. All the names you see, Drake had to sign off. So. Niggas want to perform. Niggas want to make sure that they get on the next card if there is a next card. Niggas ain't playing around with their bag. And, man, I... Dog. It's a powerful matchup. It's super powerful to me. Like, I just... Man. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's... To me, it's, to me, it's super powerful. To me, it is. Rock is very consistent. And you know what's crazy, too? Rock is having a good year. I think he had, well, he had Verb this year. He has Chilla this year. He has Official this year. Or was, was Verb last year? Was it this year or last year he had Verb? But he's having a good year. Quiet as it's kept, he's having a good year. Because I think, though, I, I damn near argue, bro, he won all them battles. He clearly beat Chilla 3-0. He clearly won versus Verb. And I can make. I had him winning versus official. I know a lot of people didn't like that third round. I actually fuck with the third. I didn't have a problem. Oh, the Mook battle was last year. Mook battle was definitely last year. That was definitely last year. That was that Halloween joint. Yeah, that's damn near a year ago since that battle happened. That's crazy. Stay true. You had official clear. I'm not mad at that. I, I could see it because it, it depends on how you that third round. If you if you like the third round or you appreciated the the the, the approach. I could, I, that third round kind of, I could understand that. He said Rock wasn't motivated against Verb. Yeah, but I still think that he was, he was solid in that battle. Like, I think he, like his performances this year have all been, they've been, they've been pretty solid. And I thought he was really good versus Chilla. I thought he was in his bag versus Chilla. Yeah, that third was on World Star for sure. For sure it was. Um,. But yeah, that that's a powerful battle right there. He said, "Am I counting the two on two? He, he did have a two on two. Him and Easy versus uh, Geechee and, and Swamp. I see. I, I'm in my power ranking bag right now. But normally, I don't count two on twos. They're an all star game, so I count it. You 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 battled in that. You had that battle on your resume. This is an all star game. No, it's just it's just for the people to have something to watch. It's an all star game. But I thought he was really good in that one. Him and Easy definitely was cooking up in that one." Main event though. Let me get let me let me get into my West bag. I said West in the building. Huh? I said West in the building. Main event again. We talking about the GOAT of this era. The GOAT of this era. Put some respect on the man name. Geechee Gotti. Every fucking bar, nutty block, Compton in the building. The GOAT of this era. And he battling who I think is the GOAT of all the battle. He battling Loaded Lux. Ah. Beloved. Whew. 
Woo! Listen, last night, I was telling y'all earlier, I was on my radio show last night, right? Ledge will tell you because Ledge was actually in there. I'm, I brought the battle up and everybody acted like it was blasphemous to say Lux had a chance to win. They were like, nah, he needs to, he needs to have the gray hoodie on to even have a chance. I'm like, huh? So I fought for Lux a lot last night. More than what I ever would do versus somebody when they're battling somebody from the West. But in that discussion, man, it really brought up to me just how close this battle is and how many different dynamics are in this battle. That I feel like, to me, this is my battle of the night. This is my personal battle of the night. I'm a, I, I love... Bar for bar, punchlines, you know what I'm saying? I love all that. Love it. That talk to him, though, that substance, being able to craft something powerful, direct for your opponent, that's my, that's my shit. And look no further, you got two of the best ever to do that. I think this is going to be a classic battle. I think this is going to be a classic battle. I think we're going to see one of those those Lux performances that people have been saying they want to see. Because people act like he wasn't good versus Verb. His third round versus Verb, man, we, we throw that. You could throw that somewhere. But the first two rounds, to me, was powerful. To me. Lux got some of the best rounds. I'm not talking Calico. Throw the, you keep the Calico battle out of it. I'm talking about... His hollow rounds, his rounds for clips was fire. I thought he had fire rounds versus Arsenal. His, 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 a couple of two of his rounds versus Verb was powerful to me. Lux has some of the best rounds. And when he wants to get direct with his penmanship, a direct approach to you while pinning that shit the way only he can do, he can get surgical out there. But the same can be said for Geechee because Geechee been getting surgical with them angles all year. You've seen him in this year, especially, he been in that angle bag heavy. Like he been talking to niggas this year. You've seen what he did with him and DNA, him and math. Now, you remember that math work. Remember that round versus math. He was wilding. 30, got 30 math. Even when he started angling versus Nitty, people was like, damn, he angling versus Nitty? Niggas didn't even expect that. Like, bro, Gotti, he, he, he ain't playing. To me, I don't think you could go wrong with whoever you pick. There is no 30. I'm not. Uh, you, you, you don't have an argument with me to say it's going to be a 30. You just have to say, oh, I'm a fan of this person. I just like their rounds. I don't like this other person's rounds. Because I can't see a 30. I can't see a 30. Definitely going to be a conversation, mama. I, I can't see this being a 30, man. This is going to be a highly, highly debatable battle. 3-0 either way. is like, well, not all right. Yeah, I, I can't see it, bro. Like, And, and I'm telling y'all right now, we know how low the Lux battles are. If the battle is close over time, when that over time, them rounds, you, go, you got to go back and watch it and appreciate them rounds. The rounds get better over time, man. His material ages very well, man. I'm probably the best out of anybody in battle rap, man. His, his that material, dude, and Gotti the same way. Like Gotti material is timeless because that is substance behind what they're talking about. It's not just regular punchlines or just something you can say to anybody. It's actual substance that has something to do with their opponent, and they both excel at that, man. This is a mega matchup to me. Um. I think even Les said last night after we had that that major discussion and debate, last, he was like, "Man, I think I he I think he said he might have had Gotti, but now he thinking he might have Lux." Like, I don't know, man. Like, this is this a tough call. Geechee also digestible. That definitely plays a factor for for the live watch. Definitely plays a factor for the live watch about approach and angle. I hundred percent agree. I feel like whoever whoever has the better um, approaches within their content, I feel like we'll definitely be able to edge out certain rounds. But it's going to be the kind of battle you're going to need at least two or three watches. In my opinion, I feel like it's going to be it's going to be like that, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, it's a mega matchup. Uh, predictions? Uh, I don't know, man. I think there's only one battle I really have a prediction for where I'm like, okay, I, I'm not going to change this prediction. There's only one battle where I'm like 100% sure I'm not going to change my prediction. There's only one battle that I, that I have that for. There's only one. And that's Rex and Nitty. That's the only one where I'm like, I, got, I could, I'm 100%. I don't need more time. I have, a, I have a winner. I got Nitty winning that battle. That's the only battle on the card I'm that confident with. Every other battle, I'm not confident with, with a pick right now. I'm not confident with a pick. I'm not confident with a pick for it. Like, I'm talking about right now. Like, I don't even talk about day of. I might change my mind on a pick or two. If I had to give y'all predictions right now, because I don't, I don't run away from it. I don't run away. From it. Even though I'm saying I, I might change my mind, I ain't going to run away from it neither. If I had to go ahead and give my predictions, I would say Pat Stay 2-1, Edge versus Real Sick. The, the ladies, man. Uh, I actually, I actually am gonna say Gaddis two one edge over Jazz, and I'm not gonna lie. I do need more time with this battle. I need, I need to watch some more performances and kind of. I don't know, but I, that, I'll just off rip. I'll just say the first. You know what I'm saying? It comes to, comes to mind. I'll go Gaddis two one. Mm, not, not really. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, I got I got past stay over a uh, real sick two one edge an edge though, because the thing about real sick he's very fire at what he does versatile his rapping level is it is is very high, but Pat Stay could clown people who rap like anybody who can get put in the mold of rapidy rap. I'm not saying real sick is, but just on some joking type Pat Stay can really clown that style man. And he can make what you're doing look like you're really trying and you really have to wrap your heart out into he's like, I'm just I'm just here. Like even if you I will give you the classic example of Pat State versus Danny Myers. Like Danny was rapping his heart out. He was really born Pat State. He was really born versus Pat State. Pat State, man, he had powerful rounds. You know what I'm saying? That's why that battle is is so debated still to this day. You do pair of steroids too, bro. Look at you. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, he has little shit like that that could really just change everything, dog. And that's why I got, I'm got i edging Pat Stay right now. I'm going to edge Gaddis. Low key, I kind of want to pick. Because to me, bro, I feel like a card like this is going to be about that star power. And Jazz has more star power. My only thing is Gaddis been outside. She she not rusty. She been outside. She done been in these caffeine rooms. You know what I'm saying? She 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 got she got she got a feel for the caffeine room and, and, and what it's looking like. Now a crowd, this is four hundred to seven hundred people. That look, she's been on stages before. She know what to do on them stages as well. I low key, ah, I, I, oh, I, I change my pick. I, I got jazz. I got jazz. I got jazz. I'm gonna I'm I'm go. Jazz. I'm gonna change my pick. I'm gonna change my pick because that star power, man. You got a crowd like that, man. I feel like the first round, everybody gonna want to hear what Jazz got to say, and she could get that round. The last two, that's where the debate comes in, at, and I don't think either one of them is just clearing the other person two rounds. Of, I, I just, I, don't, I can't see it. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I think, I think it's gonna be a dog fight personally. Uh, I do got Nitty. Uh, two one versus Rex. Clear. Rex will get around. We we're not going. I'm not going to disrespect. He definitely going to get around. That's he, he's he, he's his style and what he does and what he's shown us over history. He's going to get around. He's going to go off in one round. Is he going to consistently go off for three? I don't know, but he'll go off for one. The other two, I think Nitty will get that clear. Calico and Surf. You say you'll never play space, but why? What you mean? Why is that? Why is that? Surfing cow. Ugh. Damn. Bro, cow don't be losing battles, bro. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with surf, man. I, I, something telling me surf is about to have like one of the top performances of the night. I don't know. The take back so quick. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I think serving Cal going to be the best. I don't know. Like Cal don't be win- he don't Cal don't be losing battles and surf is like in his bag right now. I, I, I'm gonna go surf with a. I mean the slight, a very slight. I don't know, man. I, I, I'll go surf. Uh, I got twerk. Tay Rock. I might change my pick on that one. Depends, but I think twerk could get that. And then Lux and Lux and Gotti, man. Listen, I, I, I and I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how fair I am with this battle. When niggas said, I asked the question last night. I said, hey, assuming both battle rappers are on 10, we get the best, the best Lux, the best Geechee, who's better? And in my opinion, Lux is better. However, the matchup, and now we got to go into what can be said. And I think there's certain things that have not been said to Lux, especially from a certain perspective. And I feel like that's where Geechee can uh can 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 um level the playing field and make this the close battle. I got Gotti with a very slight edge. I'm not all the way I'm not all the way with that one. I, I reserve the right to change all these picks. I reserve the right to change all these picks. But right now I very I'm talking about Razor's edge to Geechee. And that's and that's the first watch too, because I think once you go back and watch it afterwards, I feel like that's where Lux will probably. But on first watch, live, with what Geechee's able to do, more digestible style, he gives you more of them bombs. This is in the West, he know that room. I'm, I'm gonna go with Geechee with an edge, man. But I definitely reserve the right to change my picks, though. I'm just letting y'all know what I, what I, what I what I reserve the right for. That, that's all. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, man, that that's that that's my time for today with the podcast, man. I definitely wanted to make sure we went over all the announcements, the uh, the volume eight, volume nine in December. Y'all better have the matchups. Y'all better have the ones we really thinking of, huh? Yeah, not not gonna be in Cali. Gucci angling underrated. That's a fact. He, no, I'm telling you, he, this year he's been in his bag angling. He some of the <laughs> some of his best rounds have been when he just, just start talking to a nigga. He definitely been in that bag. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm back on caffeine, y'all. Same time every day. I know I was a little bit late today. My apologies for that. But pretty much every day you will see me 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern every day, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, y'all will see me here 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that y'all are following me because I'm definitely going to be uh, going live on here a lot. Uh, shout out to everybody who pulled up. I appreciate all the love and support. The next time y'all will see me is tomorrow. And tomorrow is Wednesday, which means it is West to Watch. So you see what is, you see this picture to, to, to the side of me? It's going to be a battle we're going to be watching. I got, I got two battles in mind. That I definitely want to watch. And I think we might theme it around what's going on this weekend. So it might be a nitty battle. It might be a Geechee battle. We might do something like that to kind of roll into the Drake car. So we're definitely going to put that out there for y'all. Definitely appreciate everybody who pulled up. Prop gang, appreciate y'all. All the queens, appreciate y'all. I see, I see Faye. Hey, Faye, I was actually going to text you because I seen that shit this morning. Uh, that they have a fate versus pass dropping tomorrow. So, hey, if your battle drops in time, I'll fuck around and watch that shit here. To be, if it drops in time before I, I, I go live, I'll definitely watch that battle here. Definitely. For sure. Uh, appreciate everybody who pulled up. Hidden Gang, as always. As always, Hidden Gang, I appreciate y'all fucking with your boy. Nico TV, Voice of the West, signing out. I will see you guys tomorrow. For West to watch, man. We up out.